What's the difference between the data controller and the data processor? The GDPR entered into force in May of 2016 and has been applied since May of 2018, so basically it's been around for almost four years now. And yet the same question pops up over and over again. What's the easiest way to describe the difference between the data controller and the data processor? Well, long story short, the controller does three things that the processor does not and cannot do which is determining the what, the why and the how of the processing of personal data. This is made clear by the very definitions provided by Article 4 of the GDPR, which states that the controller is the person, the legal person or the authority determining the purposes and means of the processing of personal data. On the other hand, it states that a processor is needed, quote, when a processing is to be carried out on behalf of the controller. So, take home message. Whenever a processing of personal data is in place, there must be a controller and there can be also a processor, not the other way around. For more information, please check our website and follow us on social media.